That sound, though not that song, was heard on Sunday afternoon, February 1st, 1903, in downtown Oklahoma City. Among the 89ers who made the land run into what became central Oklahoma were Anton Klassen and John Chartel. Klassen first settled in Edmond, where he was the first postmaster, edited the Edmond Sun newspaper, and donated the land where the Central State Normal School was eventually built. Chartel settled in Guthrie and almost immediately became involved in a land claim dispute. By the mid-1890s, both men had moved to Oklahoma City. The period from 1900 to 1920 saw Oklahoma City grow by leaps and bounds. Prior to that time, transportation in the state was limited to either horsepower or walking. Those modes were fine in most situations, but as cities expanded, other options were needed. Congestion and impracticality prevented many urban dwellers from owning horses. The answer came in the form of electric streetcars. As early as the mid-1890s, Chartel asked the city council to consider some form of streetcars. The requests were turned down. But as the city continued to grow, by 1901, the council changed its mind. In 1902, the Metropolitan Railway Company was granted a franchise to build a trolley system in Oklahoma City, and Klassen and Chartel were now in business. After months of careful preparation, it was on Sunday, February 1, 1903, that the first electric streetcar in Oklahoma City, described as a giant by the local press, slowly and silently rolled out of the Metropolitan Railway Company's car shed on 13th Street in downtown Oklahoma City. Getting electricity from an old outdated city power plant, the new electric giant made its maiden voyage down 13th to Broadway and into the heart of downtown. 